Hey guys, it's me, Theory Guy, and today we're going to be doing a little theory, I mean this is my first video, uh, but we're going to be doing a little theory on time travel. Is it real? Is it possible? Will it ever happen? Well, first off I would like to say, if you like this video, scroll down, hit the subscribe button, or hit like. So, time travel, what is it? Well, it's when oneself travels to the future or the past. Well, what is the future? What is the past? We all know what past is. We learn about it in history class and whatever they try to teach us. Well, now it's the future. What is the future? Well, the future is an undefined object which has multiple variations, such as, well, who will you marry? That could be a hundred different pieces who you'll be when you're an adult. Another hundred pieces. It's all different. It all comes down to the simplest of decisions. Say, what do I eat for dinner tonight? What do I do for lunch? What classes do I sign up for? It all depends on that. <clears throat> so, what is it? Well, first off, it isn't. The future is not a defined object, nor is tomorrow the day after. <clears throat> Say, have you ever heard of a paradox? Well, it's when one, a future event or a past event counteracts with another event. So, if we said, like, uh, this is a famous paradox, the grandfather paradox. If you went back in time and killed your grandfather, then you would never be born, so you wouldn't be able to go back in time and kill your grandfather. Well, true, however, but it's an unending just cycle, going on and on and on forever and ever. Well, okay, so that's a paradox. Um, well, so, uh, is time travel ever possible? Don't know. Well, here's a little test. I swear by that if in the future I ever have access to time travel, if it is created in my time, that I will come back to this exact moment and appear right here few seconds for effect. Yeah, I guess I don't do it. Yeah. Well, that's disappointing. Uh, so, first off, in order to time travel, you would be you would have to manipulate the space-time continuum, which is pretty much exactly what it says it is. It's the border between space and time as we know it. However, time is a idea, concept made up by man to capture, I guess, different moments, or different distances in the future, past, whatever. Um, that's another day. So, well, what makes this so possible? It's not. Not at this moment. Not in this. Not today with all this present technology and all of the stuff we have. We do not have the technology nor the ability to travel back in time or to the future. And if you ever traveled to the future, you'd only travel to one dis defined section. It wouldn't even be defined. Any certain decision, like I said, what do you want for dinner, could change who's the president 50 years ahead in the future. It all depends. So, is it possible? Once again, we won't know. And that's kind of a unearthing thing to kind of sit on the edge of your seat, hoping, thinking, but uh, you just have to kind of travel through a wormhole, say. Uh, like... There's this thing, it's called the Schwarzschild metric. 
it's an idea that there's if a wormhole created it would have zero energy therefore eating its pretty much eating itself and crushing upon one another and just kind of engulfing itself um, however the fact of this is even if you were to travel in the wormhole you would be ripped apart by the gravitational uh, gravitational gravitational tides. I'm sorry, I'm losing my thoughts here. Um, so yeah, you'd just be pretty much ripped apart by gravitational tides and so like, uh, say this is you, right here, my hand, this is you. All of a sudden you'd just be like, broken, broken, and then just ripped apart, piece by piece by piece. So, that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. Um, like I said, if you like the video, hit like, and if you really like the video, hit subscribe. There will be more to come. Uh, I'll see you guys next week.